And you're not here. <laughs> well, so I'll have a cup of coffee. Uh, excuse me, sir, can I help you? Oh, yeah, I'm looking for Dick Preston. <clears throat> oh, uh, Mr. Preston's tied up on stage right now. That's okay, I'll wait. Uh, no, I, I don't really think that would be too advisable. I mean, he might not even be back today. Listen, kid, you don't have to give me that dodge. Dickie's gonna wanna see me. Why don't you give me your name and I'll get a message to him? Just tell him it's his Uncle Jackie. Jackie, Spoons, Lewis. He's probably told you all about his crazy old uncle, huh? Uh, no. No, but actually, Dick and I really haven't known each other that long. Well, I've known him ever since he was knee-high to a grasshopper. Well, let me tell you. He's uncle the only... Jackie. Oh, Dickie! Hey! Oh, oh, hey, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Joe! What do you know? I, I just got, got back from the bottom of show. What do you call frozen water? Uh, ice water. What do you call frozen ink? I stink. You said it! <laughs> I remember, I remember everything you ever taught me. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> you probably thought I was going to put the bite on him, aren't you? Well, yes. Well, I'm not going to put the bite on you, Dickie. I got enough money to last me for the rest of my life. As, as long, long as, as I, I die, die by Thursday, right? <laughs> All right, listen, I'm going to let you two talk. i got to work on the script. Say, if you ever need a spoon player, Dickie, you didn't tell him I played the spoons, did no. you? I played the spoons. Oh, well, I'd, I'd love to hear you play them sometime. Okay, what would you like to hear, Dickie? <laughs> uh, let's have a little uh, heart of my heart. Oh, you yes, remember. A heart of my heart, I love that melody, I love the melody, too bad we had to Come on, Dickie, ride out with your Uncle Dacky. I know a tear would listen, if once more I could listen to that gang that sang heart of my heart. Part for a spoon player, you got the job. Thank you, thank nice you. Nice meeting you, Nice meeting you. Well, you still got it. Hey, I didn't embarrass you, did I, Dick? Hey, oh, embarrass me. I loved hearing it. It brought back a lot of memories, Jack. <laughs> hey, I gotta get ready for the next scene. How's Aunt Louise? War Department? <laughs> I wanna tell you, Dick, your Aunt Louise has still got it. Ain't nobody can twirl a tassel like your Aunt Louise. <laughs> still with you? No, she's coming by train with our pet parakeet. Crazy birds afraid to fly. <laughs> Huh? I just ran a tape of the show. Do you know what you did? You put Mrs. Lazarus on a high colonic diet. I didn't, I didn't say that. No, no, you didn't. Now, please, Dick, be more careful. Max, I'm sorry. Oh, I like, this is my uncle, Jackie Spoons Lewis. Max Mathias, our producer. Oh, Dick's uncle. How do you do? Well, isn't that wonderful? You must be very proud of your nephew. Well, I sure am. Why shouldn't I be? I taught him everything he knows. Really? You mean you're in show business? I play these and Irving Berlin's Yip, Yip, Yap, Hank. No kidding. That was the World War One Army show, right? right? I have an uncle in that. In Yip, Yip, Yap, Hank? No, 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 no. World War One. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun war. Well, he died in it. But I guess it wasn't so much fun for him, huh? No, it couldn't have been. <laughs> yep, played these little babies all over the world. The Keith Orpheum Circuit, the Columbia Wheel. That's where I met my wife, Louise. She went by the name Lulu de Lulu. Lulu, Lulu de Lulu. Yeah. Not the Lulu de Lulu. With the tassels? Yeah, you know her? Yes! <laughs> Dick, I know your aunt! I sneaked into a burlesque theater once I saw her whole act. She had a terrific... I'm sorry. I, I... <laughs> she was very rhythmic. She still is. Oh, isn't that nice? I, I better be going now. Oh, goodbye, Dick. Goodbye. Right. What an ad! <laughs> what do you plan for dinner? I plan to eat it. You plan to offer it? I'm offering it. I'm eating. <laughs> okay. I got another scene to do. Uh, can you come by about eight? Sure. Okay. Come on, I'll walk you to your car. Come on? Yeah. Come on, my honey baby. Don't say yes or no or maybe. I'll, I'll take, take you through the rag dive ball. ball. I got... Maybe and I'll take it to the rag time. Oh, boy, honey, that looks pretty. Oh, thank you. I think there's just one too many pieces of celery, though. Mm -hmm. You're going to serve any soup? No, why does he like soup? Nobody likes spoons. <laughs> you like to put out some extra spoons. No, you'll bring it alone, no worry. That's him, he always does that. You need, you need, there it is. <laughs> I'll turn off the other. Right on the button. Hi. You like salt water taffy? I love it. That's too bad. This is peanut brittle. <laughs> hey, Dick. Oh, what a swell setup. You own a rent? Well, I own what we're standing on. The bank's got the rent. <laughs> Wait, your Aunt Louise sees this. She'll snap her garters. <laughs> well, where's the little woman? She'll be right out. Hey, she is a little woman. <laughs> My daughter, Annie. Annie? This is your Uncle Jack. Hello. Who's talking? I am. Where are you? I can't see you, sweetheart. These old eyes of mine are getting so tired, they're just about ready to fall out of my head. Oh, there you are. 
<laughs> and you must be Jimmy. Hi. Honey, this is my uncle, Jackie Spoons Lewis, the clown prince of the school. Oh, students. I'm glad to finally meet you. Uh, likewise, I'm sure. Dick, I'm proud of you. We got the same taste in women. Jenny? Jenny, you're the spitting image of my wife, Louise. Uh oh. Dick ever tell you how she can spin them tassels, one at 33 and the third, and the other at 78? <laughs> Oh, hey, girl. Hey, Louise is a, uh, uh, a dancer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's tassel? Well, she, she wears, she has a costume. That, you know, why don't we all do it? Yeah. Okay, I'm packing, I'm packing. <laughs> I oh, never like to leave without a big finish, though. So. Oh, <laughs> oh, boy. <that's> great. <laughs> Jenny. I want you to have these for cooking a wonderful meal. Oh, I couldn't take your spoons. What? Go ahead. Take them. Oh. Enjoy them. You know something? It's sure nice to have a family. Uh, Good night. Nice to have you, Jackie. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> spoons, how did we do that for two hours? Not now, honey. <laughs> he cannot play with those horn games. But he's dead. Are you sure? Yeah. I can't understand it. Well, two minutes ago, you were standing there playing the spoon, and he's dead. Mommy, what's that noise? Oh. Hello? Honey, it's uh, okay. Hey, my uncle's okay. dead. Sleep. Oh, they, uh, send it over to... Uh, uh, 747 Bonnie Vista Road, Tarzana. And tell him to hurry. Tell him to hurry. No, no, he's alive. Would you send an ambulance, please? Thank you. Oh, oh, I thought you were dead. Oh, oh do I feel awful. Uh, this is it, Dick. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, right down there. Oh, this is it, Dick. This is it. Oh. Yep, I'm gonna die. You got an aspirin or something? Get you. <laughs> just take it easy. Am Ambulance will be here in just a minute. <laughs> I think that second chorus got me, Dick. I'm gonna die. No, you're not. No, you're not. You know what it is? It's fairly bizarre crowd. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Honey, would you get some uh, ice and tell the ambulance to hurry? Right. Dick. After I'm gone, I want you to please take care of everything. That'd be too much for Louise. Well, Uncle Jackie. <laughs> and I don't have much to give the world, but would you give my eyes to... To, to Would you give them to... To medical science? No, give them to Annie. Oh. Medical science can't do anything with those. Yeah. And Dick, I want you to do my eulogy. Oh, what are you talking about a eulogy oh, for? I want you to do it, Dick. You're the only one in the family who likes me. Now, that's not so. Oh, yeah, we'll check with your mother. I want you to promise me, Dick, that you'll do my eulogy. Okay, I'll do it. In 10 or 20 years, when it's necessary, I'll do it. Good. What are you going to say? Huh? What are you going to say? I don't want any of that sentimental stuff. I want a fun funeral, Dick. Lively. I'm warning you, Dick, if I'm making one of those dead ones, I'm walking out. Okay. <laughs> We've got a lot of years left. Now, when Aunt Louise gets out here, we're going to have a lot of fun, all four of us. Well, maybe you're right. Sure. Maybe I'm not going to die. Sure, nobody dies without saying any important last words. Right. And I ain't said any last words yet. Uh-oh. I think those were them. What? My last word. <laughs> Uncle Jackie. Hey, Uncle Jackie. <laughs> Jenny. <coughs> Jenny. Honey. Got the ice. He's dead again. <laughs> Your mother didn't call back. No, she didn't. No. You know, I can't believe that she won't come to her brother's funeral. Honey, home. you don't know my family. Well, I know one of them pretty well. <laughs> you can't go by me. I'm an exception. You know, it's a tradition of my family. Nobody ever marries anybody that's good enough for them. Yeah, I know. I don't think they accepted me until Annie was born. You haven't even birthed a kid yet that'll get you accepted. That's <laughs> You can imagine, you know, what chance poor old Louise had to be accepted in the family. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Third, would you stop singing? Oh, he's nervous. He knows. Did you get his food? Yep. How much was it? Oh, it's all right. Oh, no, we don't want no charity. Forty-nine cents? It's cheaper than Newark. It's a half a dollar. I'll keep the change. <laughs> Louise, would you like a cup of tea? No, thank you, but I'd like a beer if you'll join me. Why not? Oh, sure, sit down, Louise. You know, Dick, I don't know what's happening to me. 
At home, I don't take a drink till 6 o'clock. Well, you've got to figure. In Newark, it's 6 o'clock right now. That's it. I thought Jackie Dyan was turning me into a lush. <laughs> Eight lushes. Did uh, you get in touch with everybody on the list? I uh, couldn't get in touch with some of them. How many on the list are dead? Well, just three. Is Banjo Benny among them? No, no. Benny's coming. Oh, good. Jackie loves Benny. Dumb jerk. Why did he leave me now? He didn't ever get to Disneyland. <laughs> Is your mother going to the funeral? I'm pretty sure not, St. Louise. We talked to her and uh, we told her what happened to Jackie, but uh, she didn't say whether she was coming or not. I hope she stays away. Well, he was her brother. She didn't act like no sister to him. Do you know what she said to me when he introduced us? No. Nothing. <laughs> Not a word. She acted like I was one of those professional floozies, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Well, Aunt Louise, you have to understand, it, it really had anything to do with you. They, were, they couldn't get used to the idea that Uncle Jackie went into show business. Oh, well, uh, I had nothing to do with that. He was hooked before we met. Did he ever tell you how we met? Yeah, he's, the two of them were working together in Minsky's in New York. No, it was Newark. We oh. never got across the river to the big time. <laughs> well, anyway, I was doing my tassel act, and I was winding up for the big finish, and I was going clockwise and counterclockwise, <laughs> and then double time. <laughs> and one of them flew off. <laughs> and can you imagine what that big gallant did? Yeah. He ran out of the stage, and he picked up my tassel with his spoons, and put it back on with, without using his hands. <laughs> Oh, you would have, should have heard that audience. <laughs> now, you see, that's the kind of stuff you should choose at your eulogy. Don't you think so, Jenny? Well, if that's what he wanted, why not? Sure, it isn't dirty. It's the truth. And Jackie wanted a fun funeral. Yeah, he did. The thing is, Aunt Louise, I just can't figure out quite how you do that. You just tell the truth about Jackie and it's funny. That's all. You do what's right, I know. Well, I get it. Would you like something to eat? Well, I could uh, go for some raw onions and crackers. <laughs> that's all you want? With beer, that's all you need. <laughs> Mom, you came. Well, of course. Didn't you expect I would? No, I didn't. Well, after all, the man was my brother, Richard. Now, give me a big hug and take my bag to the guest room, and I want to see Jenny and my grandchildren. Uh, Mom brought the uh, guest room. What about the guest room? Well, someone's using it. Lord, Jennifer. Mm, surprise. <laughs> Is she using my guest room? We really weren't expecting you. Why would I not be expected at my brother's funeral? Well, that's no secret the way you thought about him. I thought about him the way the rest of our family thought about him. He gave up a good executive position to elope with a naked hoochie coochie dancer. What executive? He was an assistant shoe buyer at Sears Roebuck. And I never danced naked, I always wore tassels. <laughs> now do you see why the family never accepted her? Why don't I take your bag up to Lucas's room? I think you're going to be very comfortable there. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, Richard, did she have to stay here? Mom. Why do you have to keep that silly feud up? And it's so petty. Oh? And is her ruining my brother's career also petty? Well, what are you talking about? You know, sit down here. <clears throat> have you made all the funeral arrangements? Yeah, everything's taken care of. And did you talk with the minister? Yes. Fine, <clears throat> you can give him this. What's that? It's my brother's eulogy, which I wrote. Uh, Mom, the minister wasn't going to do the eulogy. Why not? I'm going to do it. Oh, well, all right, then you can read this. Here. Well, I tell he asked me kind of personally, uh, Richard, you can read it. There is no anger nor rancor in it. Just a few lovely thoughts about what? Mom, this is awful short. <laughs> the less said about him, the better. <laughs> Mom, I can't say this. See, Uncle <clears throat> Jackie asked me if I... She asked you what? Um, if I do a fun funeral. A fun funeral? <laughs> I have no respect for anything, but you're not going to do it, are you, Dick? Well, Mom, I think I have to. It was his last request. Well, I have a last request, too. And that is that you will not bring embarrassment on our family by making a mockery of this funeral. Well, Mom, you're not ready for last requests yet. And the man was my uncle. And I am your mother. Now, which last request are you going to obey? <laughs> Jackie, 
Do they take him out when they put him in the ground? <laughs> no, they, they keep him in the casket. Oh, that's right. We did that with the fish in the cigar box. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to pay final tribute to Jack Daniel Lewis. His wife and sister have requested that I step aside for a moment and let someone who knew him better than I speak of him, his nephew, Richard Preston. These are some appropriate words that were written by my mother, Jackie's sister, Florence. Jack Lewis was born in Mason City, Iowa on December 14, 1899. He attended Mason City High School. After graduation, he enlisted in the U.S. Army. When he returned, he secured a position with the Sears and Roebuck Company. He remained with them for 10 happy years. In 1928, he left the company and got married. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs> That's all very true. I'd like to add a few words of my own about Jackie, if I could. You know, uh, Jackie uh, passed away at my house, and uh, his last words were, Dick, he says, I want a lively funeral, a real fun one. And he says, if it's one of those dead ones, Dick, I'm getting up and walking out. <laughs> and we wouldn't like that to happen, so uh, here goes Jackie. <laughs> You know, one of the things I admired most about Jackie Lewis was the, the fact that he did what he wanted to do. He knew what he wanted, and he, and he went out and did it. Uh, a lot of the people in the family were a little disappointed about that, but he did what he wanted. He wanted to marry Louise Brady. He wanted to make her happy. He did that, too. He did it very well for 45 years. It's a lot of happiness. You know, he took an awful chance marrying her, too. Jackie used to say to me, Dick, don't ever, ever marry a beautiful girl because she'll leave you. Of course, an ugly girl could leave you too, but so what? <laughs> uh, yeah. All through my childhood, Jackie would pop in and out, in and out of town, on the road, and I never got to see enough of him. But uh, taught me a lot of things. You know, I remembered everything he ever taught me. He taught me, taught me that. <laughs> taught me to do this. <laughs> taught me to do that. <laughs> and, well, fly. <laughs> I think would, everybody who's a kid ought to have an uncle like my Uncle Jackie was. You know, they say that uh, in ancient Egypt, the pharaohs used to be buried with all the things that they loved. And for a while, I thought maybe we might do that with Jackie. Because he had his, <laughs> his ribble glass, his chattering teeth, his rubber eggs, <laughs> his tapes. Now, that looks like a compass, I know, but this was Uncle Jackie's tapes. A tates is the opposite of a compass because it always points the wrong way. So he who has a tates is lost. Oh. <laughs> and of course, his, his rubber chicken that laid the rubber fried eggs. Oh, well, you know, he showed me once how to make scrambled eggs. <laughs> Got what he wanted in that with him. It's his spoons, of course. As I said, Jackie said he'd walk out if we didn't have a fun funeral here today, and we don't want that to happen. And I don't think his oldest and best friend would want that to happen, right, Banjo Benny? <laughs> cemetery. Mom, you can ride with us or you can go with your cousins. Well, if it's all the same, I'd like to ride with Louise, if there's no objection. 
Sure. If you don't mind riding with the bird. <laughs> There's a first time for everything, and I feel I should know some of Jackie's family. Come, believe. Honey, hmm? you did a beautiful job. That was terrific. Oh, thanks. You know, you could have been funnier, though. You should, I should have had a bigger band. We should have had more music there. Oh. You know, I like to go out like that, too. I like to have a Dixieland band, New Orleans style, cornets and trombones and everything. A lot of tambourines. Yeah. yeah. That'd be... <laughs> we can have Bobby Sherman sing. Bobby Sherman. <laughs> 